Microsurvey Point Prep has a lot of really easy to use calculation tools that can simplify your job. Start with the drawing of a lot, and I've got my coordinate database open. You can see there's no points. I'm going to start by creating points for the lot by going to the points menu, draw points, add points to CAD lines and arcs. I'm going to select the entities that go around this lot. And you can see here they appear in the point database. Next, I'm going to create a couple of points that are calculated uh, with down and out measurements from this line here. Go to the points menu, draw points, down and out from a line or arc. I'll select the line I want to calculate down. I'm going to go a distance of 36 feet. And I'm going to go out a distance of 18 feet. I'm going to call this point number 11. And then I'm going to go another offset of 42 feet. Press escape, I can uh, select a, a new down distance and create additional offsets, or I'm going to just press escape to end the command. I now have two points that are going to be along the front of the house, and I'm going to use our pad builder command to complete the building. Under the plan menu, choose pad builder. I'm going to start by calculating from our point number 11, and I'm going to go in the direction towards our point number 12. I'm going to go along that line a distance of 24 feet. And then I'm going to turn to the left 90 degrees using the blue buttons for another distance of 24 feet. I'm going to turn to the right and go 36 feet. Now I'm going to turn to the left again, a distance of 36 feet again. Turn to the left, this time a distance of 60 feet. And finally, turn to the left again for another distance of 60 feet. So. Now that I've closed back to my starting point, I'm going to use our closure check tool to make sure that I've entered in the right values. You can see in the closure that I've got an error of zero, meaning I've come exactly back to my starting point. That's good, so I'm going to press done. And now I'm going to add these into our coordinate database as well. So again, points, draw points, add points to CAD lines and arcs. Select the line work. And they all get added to the database. Now I'm going to create some uh, offset points so that we can stake this out in the field. I'm going to go to the points menu and compute stakes. We have several different compute stake methods. I'm going to use this one, which lets us pick two offset lines, and it will create one stake based on the double offset. I'm going to start with a point number of 501, and I'm going to enter offset distances of 5 feet each, and I'm going to set my points with a description of stake. So now we just go around picking our uh, offset line and which side we want to offset to and we'll repeat for every other corner. Press escape to end the command and we'll just finish that. Now that we've created our building, you might be interested in calculating the area of it. I'm going to go to the Calculate menu and run Fast Area by selecting objects. I'm just going to click on the line work. Press Enter when I'm done. Click inside the area. And now I'm just defining uh, what direction to draw the text. And I'll just move this over a little bit. 
and we've got a uh, area of 2,736 square feet. We probably don't care how many acres the building is, so I'm just going to erase that label. Similarly, you can do calculations uh, by point numbers. So if I go calculate by point areas, some little instructions. And this time I'm going to, rather than uh, clicking lines, I'm going to tell it to connect from point one to point two to point three. Now I'm at an arc, so I'm going to actually enter in my radial point, which is down here and is point number five. Next point is uh, four, six, and then we'll close back to point one. Go ahead and counterclockwise. Click where we want to insert the text. And there we go. You may want to label a few distances into our uh, drawing here. So I'm going to go to Labels, Draw Line Label. I'm going to create an auto distance along our street frontage. Click the line, and now click which side of the line to draw on. Similarly, I'm going to go to Labels, Draw Ties, and use our auto house tie. This lets us um, get a measurement from the house corners to the property lines. Or if you want to draw the labels with arrows, go to Draw Ties and Auto Host Ties with Arrows. This makes it a little bit easier to read them on uh, long, longer measurements. Go to our corner, the lot, and we'll just repeat this along our other corners. There we have it, our complete plan.